So you may be asking yourself, what is this strange and very abstract career that I have to show you? Well, worry not, my friends, because I'm about to talk to you about forensic linguistics. Now, the textbook definition can be a little bit dense, so I'm going to narrow it down for you. What you need to know is that forensic linguistics is using voice identification and handwriting analysis to solve a crime. So why is this all important? Well, forensic linguistics is commonly called the language of the law, but for science purposes, we are going to study how it is used as evidence. Linguistics can be used as an identification for some people, and can even be used to find out the race and origin of a perpetrator. Forensic linguists must analyze spoken and written word to pick out the best evidence to solve the crime. Now let's look at the history of forensic linguistics. No one is quite sure when it was first used, but experts even suggest that the ancient Greeks used it back in their, in their times to help thwart plagiarism. However, the term wasn't coined until 1968 by a professor of the name of Jan Svartvik. This set up rules for police and detectives alike, such as not interrupting during interrogations, and it's paved the road for the Miranda rights that we know today. So has forensic linguistics actually helped solve any crimes? Absolutely yes. One of the most famous being that of the Unabomber Ted Kaczynski. After sending out some bombs in the mail, he went on to write his manifesto, The Industrial Society and Its Future. However, one of the editors happened to be his brother David, who recognized his use of language and phrases such as saying, eat your cake and have it too, rather than the more traditional way that people use it. Of course, this wasn't the only piece of evidence that was used to solve the crime, but it was quite a big role. So how does this measure up as a career? Well, the average salary for a forensic linguist is between $70,000 and $10,000, and it offers many job opportunities in business and in government. However, there are some cons to being a forensic linguist, such as there aren't many graduate opportunities, and the school is dreadfully long, from at least six to eight years. But it may all be worth it to help stop further crimes. Thank you all for watching, and remember that words are powerful.